Your job just became obsolete. At least, that's what everyone's telling you right now. ChatGPT Agent dropped three days ago, and the tech world is losing its collective mind. This thing doesn't just answer questions, it literally takes over a virtual computer and completes entire workflows for you. We're talking spreadsheet analysis, competitive research, slide deck creation, even grocery shopping. All autonomous, but here's what the fear mongers aren't telling you. While everyone's panicking about AI taking their jobs, the smart money is already figuring out how to become irreplaceable. And I'm about to show you exactly how they're doing it. See, there's a counterintuitive truth hiding in plain sight with this chat GPT agent launch. Everyone sees a job killer, I see the biggest career accelerator we've ever had. By the end of this video, you'll know how to transform from someone who competes with AI to someone who orchestrates it. You'll discover the one skill that's about to become more valuable than coding, more crucial than management, and completely immune to automation. But first, let's talk about why everyone's getting this completely wrong. The narrative right now is simple. AI does tasks, therefore humans become unnecessary. LinkedIn is flooded with posts about preparing for the AI apocalypse. Career coaches are scrambling to help people AI-proof their jobs. It's all based on one fundamental misunderstanding. Everyone's focused on what chat GPT agent can do. Nobody's asking what it can't do. Um, let me paint you a picture. Uh, yesterday, I watched a demo where someone asked the agent to research three competitors and make a presentation comparing their pricing. Impressive, right? The agent browsed websites, extracted data, built slides, beautiful automation. But here's the thing, and this is crucial, the human still had to know what questions to ask. They had to define competitor. They had to decide what pricing metrics mattered. They had to know what kind of presentation would actually influence their specific audience. The agent is incredibly powerful at execution. It's terrible at intention. This is where most people are getting it backwards. They think AI makes information retrieval easier. Therefore, my analytical skills are worthless. Wrong. Dead wrong. AI making information retrieval easier means your synthesis and judgment skills just became exponentially more valuable. Think about it. When everyone has access to perfect execution, what becomes scarce? Perfect direction. The ChatGPT agent scored 41.6% on Humanity's Last Exam, a brutal benchmark across 100 plus fields. Sounds terrifying until you realize it failed 58.4% of the time. It outperformed humans on spreadsheet tasks in only 45% of cases. Even in its strongest areas, it's hitting maybe 50-50 odds. But here's the kicker. In every single successful use case, there was a human providing context, defining success criteria, and making judgment calls the AI couldn't make. So what's the secret? How do you not just survive, but thrive in this new landscape? You become an information architect, not an information consumer, not an information processor, an information architect. Here's what that means. While everyone else is asking ChatGPT agent to do their job, you're going to use it to do 10 jobs, then synthesize those outputs into insights no AI could generate. Let me break this down into what I call the three layer strategy. Layer one, the multiplier effect. Instead of asking the agent to complete one task, you architect multiple parallel investigations. Don't say, analyze our competitors' pricing. Say, analyze competitor pricing, research their customer complaints on social media, map their employee growth on LinkedIn, and extract their recent press releases for strategic messaging changes. Now you're not competing with AI execution. You're orchestrating AI intelligence gathering at a scale no human team could match. Layer two, the synthesis engine. This is where you become irreplaceable. Take those four different data streams and find the patterns the AI missed. Maybe their pricing went up right after they hired 20 engineers. Maybe customer complaints spike every time they announce a new feature. These are strategic insights that require human intuition about business dynamics, psychology, and market timing. The AI can gather data. Only humans can understand what it means in context. Layer three, the decision framework. You're not just presenting information, you're architecting decision-making. You take those insights and build frameworks other humans can use to navigate similar situations. You become the person who doesn't just know what to do, but who teaches others how to think through complex problems systematically. Here's a real example. Instead of asking ChatGPT agent to help me negotiate my salary, an information architect would say, research salary data for my role across five different job boards, analyze recent funding rounds in my company's sector, 
map our company's recent executive hires and their compensation packages based on SEC filings, and compile a list of my company's main competitors who might be hiring similar roles. Then they synthesize that into a negotiation strategy that's not just based on market rates, but on their specific company's financial position, growth trajectory, and competitive pressures. This approach works because it leverages what humans are uniquely good at, contextual judgment, strategic thinking, and systems design. Let's say you're in marketing, everyone's worried ChatGPT agent will replace content creators because it can research topics and generate slide decks, but an information architect doesn't compete with that. They architect comprehensive market intelligence. You'd have the agent simultaneously research your target audience's behavior across different platforms, analyze your competitors' content performance, map industry influencer networks, and extract emerging trend signals from multiple data sources. Then you synthesize that into a content strategy that's not just about creating content, but about positioning your brand in the market ecosystem. The agent did the heavy lifting, you did the thinking, or let's say you're in sales. Instead of worrying about AI doing prospect research, you architect comprehensive account intelligence. You have the agent research not just your prospects, but their suppliers, their competitors, their employees' career trajectories, their recent regulatory filings, their partnership announcements, and their technology stack changes. Then, you synthesize that into a sales approach that addresses their actual business environment, not just their stated needs. The key insight here is that ChatGPT agent's 400 message monthly limit isn't a restriction. It's a forcing function. It makes you think strategically about which tasks deserve AI assistance. And that strategic thinking is exactly what makes you irreplaceable. Here's what most people miss. The businesses that thrive with AI won't be the ones that use it to do the same work faster. They'll be the ones that use it to do fundamentally different work. Work that was impossible before because the information gathering would have taken too long. Think about this. Before ChatGPT agent, conducting comprehensive competitive intelligence might take a team weeks. Now one information architect can do it in a few hours. That's not job displacement, that's job evolution. The people who get this will become the go-to strategic advisors in their organizations. They'll be the ones who can say, I need to understand this market and actually deliver comprehensive understanding, not just surface level research. So here's your next move. Pick one decision you need to make in the next week. Instead of asking ChatGPT agent to help you make it, architect a comprehensive information strategy around it. Map out five different angles of research that would inform that decision, then use the agent to gather intelligence from all five angles simultaneously. Finally, and this is crucial, synthesize those findings into a framework someone else could use for similar decisions. Try this once, and you'll see exactly what I mean. You'll feel the difference between being an AI user and being an AI orchestrator. The future doesn't belong to people who can do what AI can do. It belongs to people who can envision what AI should do and why. The agent uprising isn't coming to replace you, it's coming to amplify you. But only if you're ready to think like an architect instead of a worker. I'm tracking every development in this space, and next week I'll show you the specific prompt frameworks the top 1% are using to maximize their monthly message limits for maximum strategic impact. The efficiency gains are honestly ridiculous, but right now, go architect your first information strategy. Your future irreplaceable self will thank you. Don't forget to comment down below letting us know something that you've learned today, and consider subscribing and checking out more videos down below.